Take it in front of you. In front of you, push a little your staircase and put the length 27. Can you make it with the blue rods? Make it with the blue rods. No, 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 the same. Keep it as it was and make it also with the blue rods. Side by side with it. So how many nines make 27? Three. Do you see it? Yes. And how many eights do you think make 27? Four. Try and see whether it's true. We want how many eights? can't make it. Well, you said four. I didn't say four. Three and um, uh, I mean three and um, eights and a three. Is it true that three times eight and three make twenty-seven? Yes. See whether it's true. Will you try it? So you, is it? Yes. And how many sevens will make twenty-seven? This is a basic principle of the system. Practice is merely a preliminary to exploration, in which each child, for himself, makes his discoveries. And mathematics comes alive in his mind. Make 27. Look, three, seven, seven, six. Blue. So, what is one third of 27? Debbie. Angela. And how many white ones in the blue? No. Nine. Nine. So what is one third of 27? A blue. 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 But how many white ones in it? Nine. Nine. So if I tell you a number, if I say 27, and I ask one third for one third, what's your answer? What's your answer? What is it? What is the answer? Nine. Is nine one third of 27? So what is two-thirds of 27? 18. Angela, can you write it for us? Write two-thirds of 27 and find the answer. Write it high, uh, higher up, a little higher up here so that we can see it. Oh. Two. You see, this is one-third. What will you write for two-thirds? These children six months ago were in kindergarten. This year they are learning to read and write and figure. But after a few months of instruction by this method, the figuring they do is of a kind that wouldn't be tackled until years later under the usual curriculum. Do you agree with her? Do you agree with her? Can you read it? What does this say? Two thirds. So, do you need the other one? Now, let's read it together. What does this one say? Two thirds of twenty-seven equals eighteen. And what does this one say? Now you go back to your seats and have the three blue ones in your hand. Each of you has three blue ones. I don't have any. Will you have these three blue ones? Only three blue ones. Now, how many white ones in this, please? No. In this one? No. Sarah, in this one, how many white ones? In this one? From 27, I take away one third of 27. What's left? What's left? From 27, take away one third of 27. What's left? Graham? What is it? Do you agree with him? Yes. From 27, I take away two-thirds of 27. What's left? 
Sarah? Nine. Is it? Is it? One third. But is that, is she right when she says nine and when you say one third of 27? Yes. Are they yes. equal? Yes. 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 So from 27, I'm going to take away first nine, then one half of 18, then one third of 27. And what is left? Tommy? Um. Derek? Did you do it? If we all do it, it will be very easy. Let's do it. You have your 27, take away 9, and then one half of 18, and then one third of 27. And what's left? Nothing. What is it? Nothing. What is it? Uh, 9. Uh, what is it, Lorna? Nothing. Nothing. Well, I do it quickly for you. I take away what? 9. 9. What's this? Half of 18? Is this a third of 27? Yes. And what's left? Nothing. Well, let me give, let me find the names for 27. Give me different names for 27. Debbie, have you got a different a name for 27? One name for 27. Jen? Four, four. Three, four. 36. Is it true that 27 is 3 fourths of 36? Yes. yes. Another name for 27. Yes, Peter? 36 take away 9 equals 27. 36 take away 9 is 37. Another name for it. Do you have a new name, Sarah? Yes. What is it? 18. 18 and 9 equals 27. 18 and 9 equals 27. Another name. Yes? 36 take away 9. Well, I put this one. Yes, well, I put this one. You had another one before when you said it to me. You had a beautiful one. Debbie, you look for one. Another name for 27. A new Peter, too. Find another name for 27. David? 36. Take away one fourth of 36 equals 27. Is this true? Is it? Yes. yes. Peter? 10 and 8. Now, is this right? Is it right? Find out. He says 10 and 8 and 8 is 27. No, 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 no. What is it then? What, where shall I make? To make this right, Peter, what shall I do? Now, let Peter, he made the mistake, so let him correct. I'm going to write on the board the questions which you're going to answer in the books. Through using the rods, the child can explore the meaning of many complicated mathematical relationships. Problems which many children stumble through without real understanding, these children appear to tackle with confidence. The six-year-old child's mind is capable of solving quite elaborate problems if he has started with something he can see and feel. You can use your rods if you can't find the answer. Perhaps we can read the first one together. What is it? Uh, 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 of what? Of 36 take away 18. Use the rods if you can't do it. Most children have an inborn sense of mathematics, but it has to be brought out. That is the aim of various innovations in mathematics teaching, of which this method is only one example. Of course, these children will not go through life with a pile of sticks in their pockets. The sticks have done their job when they have illuminated for the child the relationships of all those numbers. Yeah. 